feed off the ball. I'm going to just show a couple of clips of us getting into the second level, which I think is, again, going back to the beginning of this play. And when I first learned it, all right, it was, I thought we were playing too lateral, all right? We were always down the line of scrimmage. I'll never forget Albany 2009, a really sound defense. They just built walls. Again, we were pretty good that year at Wagner and, and we ran the ball well. And next thing you know, this wide zone was just getting bottled up by a wall of defenders because we did not have enough vertical separation. All right. So um, just going into this vertical separation, you'll see it from the wide and, and we'll watch the wide a ton here just to show our guys. Now, again, I know the speed's not great, but the vertical separation, in my opinion, any really good wide zone play, okay, is going to have some sort of vertical separation in the play, okay? And the back's going to press his point and all that stuff, and he's going to read it one gap at a time, okay? And we read gaps, okay? We don't read people. So, again, you're just checking one gap at a time, outside in, and waiting for the O-line to win one, okay? And, and I think it sets you up to be in good situations against maybe even, uh, maybe even teams that might be a little uh, more talented. Okay, here's an FCS team against an FBS team. And again, one gap at a time. The gaps can be filled with defenders or offensive linemen or tight ends, right? So there's the running backs going. He's attacking the edge here. C gap's full. B gap's got nothing or it's completely full with different bodies. All right. And then the backside A is open. Okay. And the guard does a great job of climbing as fast as he can into the second level and being physical uh, with the linebacker. So again, speed off the ball. Okay, here's another one. You'll see the Y. Okay, speed off the football, getting into the line of scrimmage. There's that vertical separation we're talking about. Okay, just to show you some team clips. Vertical separation. Now, the back's bad here, and we end up having a negative run. But if you look at the edge, he's supposed to read this outside in one gap at a time. And we had done something here with putting formation in the boundary and, and we had gotten them here and, and it probably would have been a pretty explosive run had the back done his job. That kid was pretty good. He did his job most days. Um, but anyway, so that's just an idea of that. Speed off the football, something we do every day here. Okay, and it, it's, it's cadence work. And I, I don't, I know now, I know now that I definitely did not work enough cadence in my individual um, prior to here. And I think, uh, you know, it's something that we emphasize, some I think in the NFL, everybody does, right? But just working, getting off on a snap count and getting into the line of scrimmage. Now this is backside, but it's still, it, it's, it's a mindset, right? So you have the left side of the line of scrimmage. I don't know what day in camp this is, all right? But this is, this is full speed off the football. They're working a backhand and you'll see that drill later. But again, talking about speed off the football, okay? Getting into the second level. So you just saw the three bag drill. Here's a backside guard, right? It's wide zone to the left. And again, nothing keeping him on the line of scrimmage. He knows he's in combination with the backside tackle and he can climb. Now he takes a poor angle, all right? But it's a good visual of vertical separation. The other thing that's a good visual of is uh, is the line of scrimmage, playing on the defensive side of the line of scrimmage. It's a great job by the tight end. Obviously, we have in formations here a little bit, but, you know, the other thing it shows is uh, an MA on the offensive line. Uh, but anyway, we could have manned this on the backside. But, um, but as far as just getting into the line of scrimmage, okay, I love the urgency by which the guard, the right guard, is flying to the second level. All right? Again, we could have circled the defense. We could have worked a, tr uh, you know, a tight end tackle to 47 here. But at the end of the day, we're flying off the football. We're getting into the second level, and it's a positive run.